Uh, Sheldon Kagan is a name synonymous with, I guess, concert promotions here in Montreal for many years. Of course, a DJ, disc jockey business, businessman. And he's been in the news lately because of a very generous donation he made to uh, Vanny College, where I went as well. Uh, Sheldon Kagan is on the line joining us from New York. Hi, Sheldon. Hi, good morning, Ken. Listen, let's get to this donation from Vanier College. It's a massive record collection that you uh, co- you amassed over the years. And I guess uh, what led you to this decision to sort of uh, move that out of your house? Was it downsizing? Yeah, it, it was It was downsizing. Uh, you know, I, I had recently sold my house, moved into a condo, and now there was a question, what do I do with my record collection, my music paintings, my music statues? So... All along, I knew that I wanted to put it in the right space. You know, I wanted to have my legacy continue. So uh, I did some research to look at where it should go, and by far, Vanier was the best place to go. They've got an amazing music school. It's a great institution. And, uh, you know, I'm so proud that it's all in this library that we just opened up this week at Vanier. What kind of a number are we talking about in terms of a a record collection? Well, there was about 12,000 records, uh, 45s and albums. There was about 500 cassette tapes that have been made over the years. Uh, there's CDs, but even in that record collection, there's there's some personal records that were given to me by performers like Dionne Warwick, mm. uh, the Commodores, George Benson. Uh, the music I started collecting in 1965, so it really covers a, a, a massive spectrum. And uh, the way the room is set up, uh, if it was a, a library with books, of course, somebody would come and read a book. But what do you do with a record? Well, now we've set up special equipment, so you put the record on a turntable and, you know, uh, go online, and then you can load it, upload it to USB. You can keep it. I mean, there's, you, you wow. can listen with headphones. It's a really neat technology. That's fantastic. We're talking to Sheldon Kagan uh, about his donation to Vanier College and his, uh, his incredible record collection. How, how painful was it, Sheldon, to part with this stuff? It was tough. <laughs> <laughs> I know because if you, you know, my wife is probably listening to this right now and she knows how many records I have in my basement and she's probably yeah. thinking, why don't you get rid of some of them too? It's just sometimes you've got to decide where you want to go in life and what you want to do. And, and it's very important to give back to the community. Mm. Uh, two years ago when I went to Vanier and announced this in the auditorium, I had 400 students there and, and you know, we spoke and, and I talked about some of the music and the performers and they were just so interested. And there's such an excitement and such a buzz about this that uh, it really feels good. So I'm having no problems with it. Mm. I feel really, really good. And what was uh, what was Vanier's reaction when you did you approach them? I did. Um, when I announced my retirement two years ago after 50 years in entertainment, uh, I received so many phone calls. And, and one of them, I, this lady called me up and she said, you know, Mr. Kagan, my son really likes records. He really, really does. Would you consider giving your collection to him? <laughs> and I said, well, I don't think so, but thanks for calling. Hey, it never hurts to ask. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, th- there was just such a buzz. I mean, I had you know, media call from other parts in Canada and the States because, you know, this was an amazing collection. And everything I did in life related to records from winning them way back on Dave Boxer on radio. Um, and even when I met my, my wife, Linda, I was a DJ at a Christmas party for the Royal Bank. And she came up to me and said, excuse me, do you have the song My Way? Could you play it tonight? <laughs> and I had five different versions of it. I looked her in the eyes and said, I feel so silly. I don't have it. Could I call and play it for you tomorrow? And she said, yes. And I called her the next day with My Way blaring in the background. And, you know, we, we hit it off, and I invited her out to a date. And where did I take her? To another Christmas party I was doing. <laughs> so everything in my life had to do with music and very much records. I think we're kindred spirits, uh, Sheldon, because, uh, as you can imagine, I have such a love for, for music and pop music. And uh, from yeah. a very early age, I mean, I used to have my little transistor radio under my pillow at night listening to CKGM, <laughs> listening, to, listening to music. Uh, my mother always let me either read in bed. As long as I went to bed at the right time, the proper time, she'd let me read in bed or listen to the radio in bed. And uh, I think I started listening to uh, some of those uh, some of those songs from the late 60s uh, on that little transistor radio. I want to ask you, though, were there a couple that you held back that you, you, you just could not part with that are special to you? Just a few. Uh, I mean, you know, and I couldn't at that stage 
start going through the records and say, okay, this one is staying and this one is going. So, so, so I kept a few, uh, a lot of the older records, you know, a couple of things that I got from Duke Ellington. He was like an amazing person. I remember when I brought him to Montreal, you know, he was in his dressing room and he said, sit down, Sheldon, I want to play you a song that I'm, <laughs> I'm working on. And Duke Ellington's asking me what I think of this. So eventually I got that album and other albums. So, so I did keep a very small amount, but I didn't want to sort of say, hey, you know, I'm going to keep these or these are not going to Vanier. So really just, you know, like 99% of the records went to Vanier. Well, uh, Vanier's big gain, an uh, incredibly generous donation for, for, uh, for all, these, all these kids and all these, uh, these uh, kids coming up. And uh, what, a, what, a, what a resource for them to... Uh, to yeah, I to... also gave them copies of all the contracts with all the performers. Oh. I gave them the original of the posters for the shows. I had these music statues, uh, a life-size version of Woody Allen playing his clarinet, which now sits in the front of the library. So all of it related to entertainment, related to music. And the good thing about it is myself and Linda and our, our kids, Marlene and Barry, can go into the you know, venue any time and sit down and walk around and look around. And, and I've assured the college that maybe twice a year I'll come and speak to the students. Oh, that's fantastic, about- yeah. So, so it's more than just like when they picked it up, it was four truckloads came to pick up the records. The poor guys coming out of my basement <laughs> with these cardboard boxes full of records, you know. And and I thought of when I go way back to when I first started because when I moved into a small apartment and then moved into a bigger apartment to move the records, uh, the forty fives I put broomsticks through them to candle them, and yeah. you know, carry them from one sure. record rack to another. So it's it was quite incredible to see five guys come take four truckloads of records you know, to Vanier. We're on the phone with Sheldon Kagan, who has uh, made a, a very generous donation of his huge record collection and memorabilia to Vanier College. Where, where, where on, the, on the campus will it be? What building is it in? Uh, it's in the, in the actual uh, Learning Institute. They just spent $4.5 million renovating the whole place. Yeah. It is gorgeous. I mean, when you walk in on the fifth floor and see the collection, they're all in these beautiful, beautiful... Uh, cases, you know, it goes way back when, when this was a church, and then it was, mm-hmm. you know, a library, and now it just opened recently, completely renovated, and it's it's eight twenty one Saint Croix, and it's it's just you, you look, the building is beautiful, the attention to it is beautiful, it, it's it's really exciting. Well, Sheldon, I'm so happy to hear this on so many levels, and uh, one of them is the fact that I live ten minutes away from Vanier College, so guess where I'll be spending a lot of my free time. Oh well, I'll be happy <laughs> to meet you there and give you a tour anytime you want, Ken. Sheldon, thanks for doing this. Say hi to your wife and. And safe travels. Good, thank you. All the best. Man, that's Sheldon Bye-bye. Kagan, a music promoter and uh, DJ and name synonymous here in Montreal with uh, the music business. And uh, a great thing he's done for Vanier College.